It's so soft. I love it. I love using this in the summertime. Worth every single penny. Blue mask is still. None like this one, especially when your skin is irritated up my butt crack. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Where are my soul sisters? Let me hear y'all flow. Sister. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, your sister, Yunyan in the house today, and I'm so excited that you got to click on this video. I know that a lot of people want to see the routine on how you can calm your skin fast. And not just calming, but it's gonna definitely help to restore and it's gonna heal your skin. And I know that you've been probably like, what the heck is going on on me? Really worried because of the thumbnail. So today, uh, I just wanted to pop in here before I get started, just to give you an intro of why my face is like that. So I will be sharing exactly like the realistic steps that I took to calm my skin after I got a treatment from the dermatologist. So this is actually post-procedure routine that I wanted to recommend. However, you can do this step when your skin is sensitized, when you feel like your skin barrier is damaged after sun exposure, whatever it may be, if your skin is mad at you, or if it's like a very important day, like um, two, three days before your wedding or like you're a guest at a special wedding, or maybe you have a very important date that's coming up. Or even for myself, when I need to film something really important, I will start doing this routine to make sure my skin is in a really healthy state. All right. So with that said, before we get started, I did want to tell you guys some of the things that I got from the dermatologist, because you're probably wondering like, what the heck happened to my face? Personally, for me, I got Ulcera and Chanel injections for my husband, Derek he got shrink laser and also neck fillers so if you guys are curious about everything the do's and don'ts why we decided to get these treatments what is exactly an ulcera and shrink lifting laser that everyone's talking about what is Chanel injections that I know that a lot of people are getting in Korea and what are the prices and what are some of the dermatologists or skincare clinics that I personally recommend and the before and afters like how do we look before how do we look after did it really work and um, would we recommend it are we satisfied with it if you guys are curious about everything or any Thing about this please do leave it in the comments below but today this video is for how to calm your skin fast when your skin is irritated damaged or even after procedure all right so i'm gonna shush up now and let's start our routine hi guys so i'm back i thought this will be a perfect time for me to share with you my post-procedure routine i don't think i ever showed you guys this in this raw way um so I'm like right now, like I'm like half cuckoo. I just feel like my energy is kind of drained because I was at the hospital for so long and I haven't eaten like the whole time. And then I ate, ate all of that then Tai Fung and stuff like that. So <laughs> it's gonna be a little bit raw. First things first, you do not want to be in front of a window like this where you get all the UV and all the UVB. So honestly, I would be in like, I would be like, have all my blinds down and I would be in my vanity bathroom. But just because I just want, this is a better lighting for you guys. So I'm just gonna try to keep it really short and sweet. Like Derek, he got a shrink laser today for lifting, but he also got toning laser for hyperpigmentation and things like that. Especially when you get lasers like that, you do want to make sure you have full sunscreen on if you are going to go out or if you're going to be sitting in front of the mirror or not the mirror not the blah, 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 blah. my brain is like half functioning you know what i'm saying i have maybe i still have like the anesthesia in my blood i don't know so um if you're in front of this huge like window like this it's the best that you do wear sunscreen really well wear hats wear masks do what you gotta do and for cleansing i just washed that off with water today because i didn't wear sunscreen however if you did wear sunscreen and you do have to rinse it off i want to highly recommend that you use a milk cleanser that works so well and it just is so gentle on your skin if you don't have that i would just even recommend using a cleanser what i want to highly recommend as your second cleanser is using a bubble type of foam cleanser my favorites after procedures are claire's the rich moist um cleanser the con of that cleanser is that it runs out really fast but i love it it's so gentle and you don't want to use a cleanser with like 
high percentages of BHA and stuff like that. If it's in a cleanser, it's not gonna be as harsh on your skin, but you just don't want that. You don't wanna use anything in your routine right now that has like harsh actives or strong actives. You don't need that. Your skin's already mad at you right now. It's like confused. They're like, why are you doing this to me? What's going on? I thought I was good to you. So, you know, you just wanna make sure that you love it. You just calm it down and make sure that you eat whatever you want today because you need to reach heart. <laughs> that's what I felt like, you know? So that's why we got the McFlurry from McDonald's and stuff like that. But anyways. I said I'm gonna keep it short and sweet as always, but I always keep it like crazy. And you, you know what, you guys? I don't even have my contacts on right now. So this isn't like my real thing. I don't even know if I'm focused. <laughs> Hopefully I'm focused right now. Okay, let me shush up. Let's move on to the very first one. Use a toner. You can actually, if it's so bad, you can just go ahead and use your um, cream or balm right off the bat and you can just kind of finish off there. Honestly, if it hurts so much to a point you're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to do anything. Like I don't want to add touch to it. You should definitely just finish off with a really good balm. I'm sharing with you the Perito Germide Balancing Barrier Balm. This one was really good. I just recently did a collaboration with them on Instagram. So I tried their balm. I tried their renewed sleeping pack. I tried their um, moisturizer. I like the balm. Texture is really thick. Like you wouldn't normally use something like this, but it's really good to use a um, calming moisturizer like the one. I love the Real Barrier one that was uh, in my box that was amazing you guys also um the robectin sika one is so good claire's midnight blue calming cream is so good i've been using that for years after like light or harsh procedures so all of this will be amazing just make sure that um it doesn't have like an exfoliating agent or it doesn't have like strong actives in there it mainly focuses on calming restoring your skin um this one is amazing to use especially for post procedures too so i love this one um for me my skin is feeling okay but uh, she told me that uh, usually when you get the Chanel injections, the skin boosters, like most of the times your skin's gonna feel a little bit dry and bumpy for a few days. So my skin is not feeling too like irritated or too harsh to a point where I'm just gonna finish off with the balm. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a toner. Once again, I chose a toner that focuses on calming, making my skin stronger. You wanna stay away from any type of exfoliating ingredients and things like that. If it has like tiny little bit of the and that you feel okay, you feel like your skin can handle it, that's fine. But why risk it, you know? It's just cause right now, like I'm telling you, your, your skin doesn't like you that much. So this is a real barrier one. It's the Extreme Essence Toner. This is a really good one. It has a super like kind of milky viscous texture but i like it i do prefer something that's a little bit like lighter for the summer but right now i want something that will calm everything down you know and i know that they did ulcera on the jaw area too and double chin so i just want to make sure that i kind of uh, soak it all over my face and make sure that you're not like rubbing it because it's my skin is kind of sensitive to touch right now too I could feel it so make sure that you soak that in you can tell that already my skin is so dry it just drank it up can you tell I'm gonna use a um, hydrating sheet mask you can use anything you want at home once again, mainly focuses on calming and restoring. That doesn't have strong ingredients like, you know, um, exfoliating effects and stuff like that. I'm gonna use this one right now. This is a um, like collaboration with Jin Jung Song with Credit Think. Jin Jung Song also has really good products that mainly is so gentle. And Credit Think, um, I've been doing um, collabs with them for a very long time. I'm kind of like surprised that this sheet mask is not as well known because it's really good it does have um like snail secretion filtrate as one of the main ingredients which is really amazing for calming it has like honey extracts mainly for the hydration part don't have to use this but i feel like after procedures it's it's really good but once again if your skin's too irritated for like even the touch of the material bothers you don't use it dun, 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 dun. Ay, ay, ay. I felt like my skin was like so heated. Oh, I feel so good. Oh. 
And I think the material of the sheet would matter too after procedure. The one that I love the most is actually the... I like Claire's a lot, huh? I was gonna say Claire's Rich More Soothing Sheet Mask. Yeah, it's one of the OGs, like... It's my loves. I just felt like there's a lot of products I need to stock up on at, at like Wish Trends, like at Claire's and by Wish Trend, they have good products. But I always use the ones that I used to love before. You know what I'm saying? Like there's like all my faves that I have to have at least in my vanity and stuff like that. So yeah, if you guys want to see like specific products from uh, wishtrend.com, please let me know in the comments below. This one, it has such a soft like sheet. I love it. Look, look at the way it adheres and it just like hugs my skin from all the curves and stuff like that. It does have like mucin micro bubble. So it, it did kind of bubble up when I um, was like taking it off from the film. Uh, but anything, everything just calms down. It also has seven types of hyaluronic acid. Um, oh, one thing I wanted to mention is some people react to hyaluronic acid like when their skin's really sensitive, like, or like their skin reacts to hyaluronic acid in a bad way, period, or it's fine, but when your skin is really sensitized, they react to hyaluronic acid. My skin is not, but please do keep that in mind. I know that a lot of influencers and other people have been mentioning that their skin reacts to like micro-sized, molecular size of hyaluronic acid and stuff. And that's what happened to my Sophia on me too. She has her own skincare brand mask moments. All her sheet masks have hyaluronic acid, like most of them. She she put a bunch of in there because it's such a great ingredient. So it's fine every single day when she uses it. However, when her skin is sensitized, she can react to it. So it really depends on each person. For me though, it's always an ingredient that's okay. But um, yeah, make sure to check two things of the sheet mask when you're using it after procedure, like, or when your skin is just really damaged and sensitized, you know, overall. So first one is check the material of the sheet mask. Does it suit your skin? Do you feel itchiness and stuff like that? Is it irritating? Is it rough? Make sure that it's not. Usually go for cellulose sheet masks because usually they're like not paper. They're the only ones that's not, not paper. They're like literally like jellified coconut like, you know, extracts and stuff like that. So that's amazing for post procedures, but those are kind of expensive. Um, Mask Moments is really good, by the way, a little, a little like shout out for my only, but that, that one is really good. If you are in the US, they do ship, they have um, really good deals for people in US, but not globally yet. So that's the only thing. Uh, but if you could find a cellulose sheet mask, that's good. Uh, second thing is um, I love the Rich More Soothing sheet mask because number one, all the ingredients are focused on restoring and calming. So there's nothing like strong in there, but the material is like these kind of gauze, like I don't know if they're tensile or something, but they're, it's so soft. I love it. It's, I think it's like the gauze sheet masks, but it's one of the softest ones that I've ever tried. I love the Real Barrier Cream one too. That's so soft, but any Kelsey, so they're all really good. But anyways, what was I talking about? I'm gonna shush up, let my skin breathe a little bit, and I'll, I'll see you guys in a little bit, okay? I love you. You wanna make sure you don't do anything to make your skin mad. So I'm gonna soak that in. Woo! Number one, that was so calming, like heat wise. I felt like my skin was like really heated. Oh, so that feels really nice. Oh, secondly, just my skin feels less dry. Everything feels like it's fully hydrated. I am gonna go with a serum today. Hello? Yeah, well, I'm filming. Come here, say hi. Oh. Come here, say hi. One, two, three, you are my soul, sister. Let me hear your flow, sister. Hey, sister, bro. Oh, baby, ne? let me see your skin right now. And your neck. Hold on. You okay? Mm. Poor thing. Mm. Thank you. Okay. I like I was like our saying, there, I'm trying to look for something that's better than this one, but there is like, None like this one, especially when your skin is irritated up my butt crack. This is so good. It's the Amplin Ceramide Shot. Um, I personally love their um, 
the silky thing that they have, which is amazing for skin elasticity. I also love their Sika one. I haven't tried their vitamin one, which I really want to try. But this one just has such a almost gunky kind of texture. But it is beautiful for irritated, sensitized skin. I love using this in the summertime. This helped me a lot actually, especially um, after my one month vacation, like as honeymoon in Jeju. We got so much sun. And this one literally saved my skin. It's not like a light, fresh texture. More recommended for the summer, maybe for the night routine, if we're gonna use it for the summer. And the bottle is huge. It's worth every single penny. Literally, it's how big is this? is like the biggest serum I've ever seen. This is 100 milliliters. You can use this for the longest time. Any houses. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off with a uh, modeling mask and then finish off with the balm. Um, you don't have to do this, but I feel like modeling masks are amazing. Usually with every type of facial in Korea, at the derm, at the spa, whatever, they finish off the modeling mask. It just hits differently. It's been used for years and it's just, been handed down. It's one of the best procedures to just calm skin rapidly. I have two that I really like. This is the One Thing Modeling Mask, Hutuinia Cordata. This is nothing like, wow, to be honest, there's a lot of different modeling masks. You just have to check the ingredients, but they're very similar. But One Thing, it's cheap. And uh, I love the fact that they have it in these like separate one piece uh, like pouches. Cause usually like it comes with a huge one like this one. It's really hard to take care of because you do have to seal it really well. I'll link some below of my favorite modeling masks. I also love um, Oxygen Suticals one. They have such a good modeling mask. This one, the hydration lasts longer. If you compare it with any other modeling mask, well, the ones that I've tried at least, it just lasts longer and you can tell it has really good ingredients in here. And um, you saw it in the video, right? I'm not sure if it's gonna be in this video, but Every dermatologist I go to in Korea, even the different ones, they always have oxygen suticals products. I swear, like it's everywhere. At least they have the cleansing milk. At least they have the cleansing foam. At least they have the sunscreen. So it is a brand that's just distributed so much and used and loved by so many different hospitals. So any cowsies, this is the um, repair effect, uh, but they do have like, different ones like i think they have vitamin ones and they have the calming one too i want to repair my skin today so i'm gonna use this one today and the thing about modeling masks is though they're ooh, that could happen the powder so make sure that you use a scissors actually then you just okay i'm gonna go dust it myself off and try again you can dust it off and try again try again it's the song you can dust it off and try again. You can just, okay, if you know this song, you are around my age and I love that. You're my generation. <laughs> but because I'm gonna dust myself off and I'm gonna add some water in here. So after you put the powder in, it kind of starts turning like this. And you're just gonna mix the schmack out of it. About that much. skin is feeling so much more calmed and brighter than before and this is the last step the most important step i think you can actually finish off with just step as i mentioned multiple times just using a restoring cream um, the hospital was kind enough to actually give me like samples of these right here you can see xeroid products everywhere especially when you go to the hospitals not even just the dermatologist but when you even just go to um 
that I went there and they had it. It's because this one is prescribed. If you have some type of insurance, should be bomb. I believe that you can get prescription for this and that you can get like a big discount for it. You can find a few brands that uh, you know already. So Zeroid is one of them. They're from Real Barrier. Uh, but for me personally, um, these probably will be amazing, but I don't like using new products, especially when your skin is just damaged or when it's sensitized. It's just not a wise idea, even if I checked all the ingredient lists. So they will give you like instructions of what to be careful for on the day of, for a week or blah, blah, blah. But uh, follow those for sure and choose the right products for you. But personally for me, I don't recommend choosing using a new product on your skin, especially when your skin is just like not happy with you. So I'm actually just gonna finish off with the balm that I've been using um, for a while now. Uh, once again, this is the Pareto Dermide Balancing Barrier Balm. It has ceramides. Um, it's amazing for dry, dry damaged, sensitized skin. But the texture is really thick, so you might not like it too much for the summertime. Let me show you on my hand first. It's like a gunky, thick kind of feel. I love balms when my skin is sensitized. What I like to do is rub them, melt them with the heat of your hands. Don't do it too much because it all soaks into your dry hands. <laughs> but melt it down and then just. Oh, that feels so good. Sometimes even when your skin is so irritated that even that swipe can hurt, you can just even dab on and just melt it down. But, ooh. And we should all make sure to apply moisturizer, moisturizer next, you know? I mean, you saw Derek's um, neck wrinkles. Usually it can be caused by so many different things like number one habits like the way your posture is so that is like really hard to get like rid of unless you fix your posture but already neck wrinkles that's formed that deep like Derek's it's really hard to get rid of it just with skincare so that's why we got a little bit help from the filter and you'll be able to did I say filter filler and you'll be able to see the difference in about a month or so the doctor said uh, and another is because due to you know lack of elasticity, so prevention is the best way to go. I'm gonna do another light layer on my face. I also like using Tamano too. Oh, I, I feel that like these kind of ceramides or rich palm types that suits your skin is the best. And you can choose whatever that suits your skin. Just make sure that it doesn't have like exfoliating ingredients or harsh actives. Hey you guys, this is the finished result and I will be giving you updates of the before and after because it's gonna take a while. Um, I don't know how this video will go but um, I just wanted to share with you the raw routine that I do after I get a procedure. You know what I'm saying? I think this is really important because not only does it apply to when you get a procedure on your face specifically but this is such a great step to do when your skin is um, slightly even sunburned or um, when your skin just feels so sensitized to a point even like the slightest touch like really affects you if your skin barrier is really damaged or if you just feel like your skin is just mad at you for um, no reason or it's like breaking out like crazy I feel like sometimes uh, doing this routine and choosing the products uh, that's a little bit with gentle formula will be a really great routine. So any cowsies, I love you. Hope you guys enjoyed this spontaneous kind of video. I just actually filled it right after my procedure. So I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one.